Um, perhaps one of the things that I really would have rethought if I were to do this all over again is the purchase of this ginormous leg press. Um, it didn't fit in the gym. I ran out of room in the gym. This is our upstairs kind of gallery area. And so right in the middle of our upstairs gallery area, I have this enormous unilateral bilateral leg press. Now, as in everything Samson does, it's enormous. And it, this thing, just the leg press, without the weights on it, must have weighed 800 pounds, something like that. It's a super, super nice leg press. The problem is, is that I don't use it very much. And it's sitting in the middle of our upstairs gallery area, along with, I don't know, five, 500 pounds of weights and my little futon where I can take a nap after I've worked out. And then something that many of you haven't seen. I can see how it's not coming in very well from, from the light. But this is a water rower. It's an alternative to the concept too. And it's a really pretty, I happen to have gotten the oak water rower. But it's a, it's a nice thing. It stands up out of the way like this. And it has a very nice feel because you're actually rowing water you're not rowing air or mechanical friction. So this is a very nice feeling piece of equipment. And finally over here is the Schwinn Airdyne. And I definitely agree with some of the stuff that Coach Glassman has written on this. I think the Schwinn Airdyne for whatever, 500 bucks or whatever these things are, it's got to be one of the best cardio interval workout pieces of equipment you can possibly purchase. I got the newer version. They have the older style, which has a really, really big fan. This is the Evolution Competition, so it's just a little bit fancier, but it basically does the same thing.